Quick question. Have you ever read a story where the main character just coasts through life without a single challenge or moment of tension? Where they never have to make a tough choice, face down a fear, or butt heads with another character? No, me neither. Because let's be real, that story would be a total snooze fest. Conflict is the secret sauce that takes a story from meh to magnificent. It's the fuel that keeps readers glued to the page, desperate to know what happens next. But here's the thing. Conflict comes in all sorts of flavors, and the best stories use a mix of different types to keep things spicy. In today's video, we're going to break down the three main kinds of conflict you can use to amp up your plot and get readers invested. By the end, you'll know exactly how to use internal struggles, external challenges, and interpersonal tensions to craft a story that's impossible to put down. Sound good? Let's dive in. First up, let's talk about internal conflict. This is all the juicy psychological stuff happening inside your character's head. The doubts, the fears, the competing desires that keep them tossing and turning at night. Maybe your character dreams of being a famous singer, but is terrified of performing in public. Or maybe they're torn between their loyalty to their family and their own sense of right and wrong. These inner battles are what make characters feel complex and relatable. We've all got those pesky voices in our heads, those parts of ourselves that pull us in different directions. So when we see a character grappling with that stuff on the page, it hits home. We root for them to overcome their hangups and become the best version of themselves. The key with internal conflict is to tie it to your character's arc. How do these inner struggles force your character to confront hard truths about themselves? How do they emerge changed, for better or worse? The more you can use internal conflict to push your character to grow and evolve, the more satisfying their journey will feel. But of course, a character can't just sit around navel, gazing all day. They need something to push against in the outside world, too. That's where external conflict comes in. These are the obstacles and challenges that stand between your character and their goal. The forces of antagonism that say, not so fast, buddy. In an action story, external conflict might look like a ticking time bomb that needs to be diffused, or a supervillain hell-bent on world domination. But external conflicts can also be more grounded, more every day. A teen's overbearing parents who won't let them date. A storm that knocks out the power on the night of a big deadline. A car that breaks down in the middle of nowhere. All of these things create problems that need solving and obstacles to overcome. What external conflicts do is keep your plot chugging forward. They give your character something to strive against and your readers something to bite their nails about. Will the hero make it out alive? Will they get what they want or crash and burn? It's those page-turning questions that keep folks hooked. Just remember, the best external conflicts don't feel random. They should tie into your character's goals, flaws, and internal struggles. The serial killer your detective is hunting isn't just a generic bad guy. Maybe he represents your hero's deepest fears. Or the darkness they're worried lurks inside them too. The more you can link the outer problems to the inner ones, the more powerful your story will be. And that brings us to my personal favorite type of conflict, interpersonal. This is all about the fireworks that happen when characters clash. We're talking personality disputes, philosophical disagreements, lovers' quarrels, family feuds. Anytime two characters with opposing agendas try to occupy the same space, it's like a powder keg waiting to blow. Interpersonal conflict can be as epic as a hero and a villain battling for the fate of the world or as intimate as a married couple arguing about whose turn it is to do the dishes. The point is, there's nothing more instantly gripping than watching characters go head to head, vying for dominance or trying to change each other's minds. These relationship-based conflicts are a gold mine for revealing character and amping up emotions. You know that delicious tension you feel when two characters who hate each other get stuck in an elevator together? Or the way your heart clenches when a parent and child have a knockdown, drag out fight, and you can see both sides. That's the power of interpersonal conflict in action. 
So when you're dreaming up your story, don't focus only on your main character's struggles. Think about the supporting cast, too. How can you create friction and contrast between their personalities and goals? How can you use their disagreements to expose hidden layers or put relationships to the test? Sprinkle in those saucy character clashes and watch the magic happen. Now, any one of these types of conflict is enough to get readers engaged. But the real secret is to weave them together. Give us a hero who's not only up against a ticking clock, but also battling their own crippling self. Doubt, all while butting heads with an ally who thinks they're going about it all wrong. The more you can pile on those layers of internal, external, and interpersonal tensions, the more gripping and textured your story will be. So the next time you're plotting a new story or trying to amp up the stakes in a scene, ask yourself, where's the conflict? Is it all happening on the surface? Or are there deeper psychological struggles at play? How can I make things harder for my characters, both in terms of outside challenges and inner demons? How can I set characters against each other in a way that reveals who they really are? The more conflict you can stuff into your story, the better. Not because we want to see characters suffer, although, let's be real, that can be pretty fun too. But because it's through adversity that characters show their true colors. It's through facing their fears, surmounting obstacles, and hashing things out with each other that they grow and change and become the fullest versions of themselves. And at the end of the day, isn't that what stories are all about? If you want even more juicy tips on crafting conflict and using it to level up your writing, check out my full course on plotting and stakes, linked down in the description. That's how you can support the channel and take your own skills to new heights. But for now, I want to hear from you. What's your favorite fictional fight scene, verbal showdown, or inner struggle? What makes a particular conflict stick in your mind or get your heart pounding? Share your thoughts down in the comments. Let's geek out about all the delicious drama together. And if you dug this video, do me a solid and mash that like button, then subscribe for more writing wisdom every week. Because let's be real, we could all use a little more conflict in our lives as long as it's the fictional kind. Until next time, keep piling on those problems for your characters and watch the story magic happen.